What's going on everyone, it's Assad here from Platinum Remaps, we're back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Boot Mod, Boot Mod 3, um, it's a platform developed by Pro Tuning Freaks. Uh, here at Platinum Remaps we are dealers for Boot Mod 3, uh, so we sell, distribute their licenses, we install their software for people's vehicles. Um, so yeah, so what Boot Mod 3 is, it's a software specifically developed for BMWs uh, and Toyota Supras for their performance vehicles for example the b58s um, the s55s the s um, s63s uh, b48s and 20s all the petrol vehicles basically it's not it's not available for diesel vehicles but uh, just petrols uh, today we're going to talk you through how to buy a license and after that we're going to talk you through after you purchase the license how to activate the license and then we're going to talk you through how to flash your vehicle and what you need to do before you flash your vehicle. So stay tuned, uh, follow all the instructions, make sure you watch till the end. One little mistake with a process like this can cost you quite a bit if you break your DME and you don't want to do that. So yeah, make sure you watch till the end and get all the information you need. Alright guys, first step is to purchase your license. Now, we sell licenses on our website or you can buy it directly through us if you message or call us. So let's, let me show you here, if you go on to platinumremaps.co.uk You go down, scroll down to BM3 licenses And you can pick the license for your vehicle So for this particular example, it's going to be on a A90 Supra So we will click on A90 Now you have three options for this license we have a license only, which is the price is well the current the current price at the time of making this video is here. This will include a free Ethernet to OBD cable. You have a remote installation where we can log into your device remotely wherever you are in the world, and we can install this for you with this option. Or we have a in-person installation, uh, which costs slightly extra, and this is for London and surrounding areas only, as that is our service area. So once you've picked one, so we are, let's say we do a remote installation, add it to your cart, go to view cart, check out what you need to check out, put some instructions in there if you have any specific instructions, and you will receive an email with your license. All right guys, once you've purchased your license and you've received the activation key via email, you will have to go to bootmod3.net uh, once you're on bootmod3.net, it will ask you to sign up or sign in. You, if you don't have a bootmod3 account, you sign up. If you do, just sign in. Now, what you're going to have to do after that is you, this green button here where it says update download OBD agent. You will press this button and it will start a download. Mind you, we're running this on a Windows laptop. It's going to be the same procedure for a MacBook. Uh, if you're running it on a mobile device or tablet, you, all you have to do is download the app. Once that's downloaded, this is what the agent will look like. It's just a little box, black, with yellow writing inside. You connect your Ethernet cable, which I will provide you with the license or which you can buy separately, to your Ethernet port in the laptop. And once that's done, can see here it says OBD connected. Uh, before before any of this will pop up, you click on the the VIN number. There'll be a blue button there saying click to activate. You just type in your activation key, and all is good. On the menu button on here on the top left, you'll go to OTS Maps, and you're going to pick your map. For this particular vehicle, we have gone stage two aggressive, as it's going to have a full exhaust system which is the requirements as you can see and now we're going to get ready for flashing okay. all right guys so on our my map section we have our map we've chosen your license will come with one map you can choose if you want to purchase more multiple maps after that you have to buy the map pack uh, if you go on our website you can see the information on how to do that so we go to stage two 93 octane now our ethernet cable is plugged into the obd port which is on this vehicle just below the, the column. We have the key inside the vehicle. We have our seat belt, driver's seat belt on. The reason the driver's seat belt stays on is because it keeps the ignition on and prevents it from turning off. What we're gonna do now is we are going to turn the ignition on 
on this particular vehicle you press start three times ignition pops on now we are going to flash this big red button here you'll see it on your phone your macbook your tablet anything that you're using for this you can click on you'll have a few options press here to flash now download flash later uh, we don't want to do anything with the orange options if you're especially if you're amateur or doing this at home so we press here to flash now now this warning will come up for newer and later vehicles it says your vehicle dme software requires a bench unlock if you'd like to proceed and flash fails click on the stock tune and choose flash and relock dme option to restore the dme back to stock so the main thing is if you see this message please do not ignore it if you have not bench unlocked your ecu for this particular vehicle this toyota supra we're working on we have pulled the ecu and it's been un bench unlocked via the auto tuner tool which is currently one of the only tools that can bench unlock this so if we go back to the car now we've bench unlocked it the warning will still come up but we can ignore the warning now uh, yes battery charger highly recommended that's fine downloading the actual map as we haven't flashed this vehicle as of yet it's the first time okay so when you are flashing the vehicle you'll see a percentage bar starts at zero percent goes up to a hundred to let you know it's complete um, you will see a bunch of errors pop up on your screen and instrument cluster. Do not worry, that is perfectly normal for the flashing process. You just have to sit here and wait for the first flash to complete. Once the first flash is completed, boot model will be very, very quick to reflash or put back to stock as it already has communicated with your vehicle once and we'll know how to get around that quicker next time. We'll get back to you when it's 100%. Okay, we're getting towards the end of the flash now. Uh, first flash should take between, let's say, five to 10 minutes, sometimes much quicker, depending on the vehicle you're flashing. As it's getting towards the end, it will slow down very slightly. But we're finishing up now, as you can see, please wait. It's restoring all the information that was taken from the vehicle before flashing and at the same time it will clear any codes that were brought up because of the flashing process. If by this stage your, your device that you're flashing from has said anything else than this, um, get in touch with us, we can help you out. We'll contact Pro Tuning Freaks, they're happy to help you out but it should be at this stage um, during the whole process. You shouldn't really come across any issues as long as you've done everything correctly. The most common thing that people get wrong on this particular sort of flash is they ignore the bench unlock warning without bench unlocking. Very, very vital step. Just because BMW have put some security locks on their ECU to prevent communication via OBD, you have to get a professional to bench unlock this ECU. Success okay now it's going to be showing as the last flash as you can see right here and we have success all right guys so there you have it that's how to purchase a bm3 license and install now like i said you don't have to go through this yourself if you purchase from us we can provide remote installation worldwide or if you're in our service area we can come out to you and install for you at the same time as installing for you, we will show you how to do any future flashing or modifications to your boot mod software. This is just a very basic guide on how to flash. And if you have any sort of questions, please feel free to comment in the comments below or email us. Okay, now flashing is done. What we are going to do before we finish up today is go for an engine start to make sure everything's fine. Now this stage 2 map required some hardware to be installed which is a full exhaust system 
Uh, that is currently being done. We're on the vehicles on the ramp. We need to go up and uh, proceed. And so for that reason, we are not going to be taking it for a test drive right now. So let's jump in this car. And we will start the engine and show you. All right, we're in the car. Ignition is off. The only warning is bonnet is open because the bonnet is open. Now, key inside the vehicle. Foot on the brake for this one. Press start. And we are good to go. No errors, everything's successful. So yeah, get in touch if you want a boot mod license. All right guys, so there you have it. That's how you purchase and install a boot mod 3 software. Uh, if you have any questions, get in touch with us. I know I've probably said that a few times during this video, but yeah, get in touch with us via email, phone us, uh, WhatsApp us, uh, comment down below and we'll get back to you as quickly as possible. And yeah, we'll go, we'll make another video soon about the custom settings of each boot mod OTS map. Um, that will go, that will be a little bit more detailed. We'll go into how to change bubble types, uh, duration, aggressiveness, how to disable certain sensors, P codes, um, GTS startup rules, and yeah, just certain set, certain settings for different engines. We'll go through each one, and um, yeah, we hope you enjoyed this video. So. Please uh, drop us a like, uh, subscribe to our channel, and um, yeah, we'll see you next time.